Hi, I'm Christina. Hi, I'm Tiana. And, and today we're, we're going to play Rachel <laughs> Ford. Normally we're so much better at being in sync, but you get the idea. We're playing with the Ouija board. Alright, so as everybody knows, this Ouija board is a very stupid game to play. <laughs> but, we're those stupid people, as many other people across the world. So, um, we're going to see if we can talk to any spirits today, but, you know, last time it did work and we got some pretty creepy responses. And unfortunately we didn't get it on camera, we didn't get it all recorded, and we wrote everything down. We just trying to like make sense of it because it just didn't make sense, but... I was um, trying to make sense of it, she was giving up. <laughs> but we'll be um, posting the recording next week? This week. This week? Posting both of these Oh, wait, wait. Are we doing... We'll post you know, literally a black screen. With audio. With audio. Yeah. So it's not going to be anything interesting, it's just our... First attempt. Yeah, I guess we can post it a week later. Yeah, I guess. Alright, so first we're going to be trying to play it in the kitchen. On the kitchen table. Last time we didn't get as much as a response. I don't know why. I guess the floor is more responsive. I have no idea. Maybe because you're closer to hell. Anyways, so let's get started. Alright, so. This is our Ouija board. Um, as you could tell by the box earlier. If you could tell from the five seconds you saw it. Yeah. Um, this is the same box, same Ouija board you played in the Ouija board movie. Alright, so what we're gonna do for extra precautions is that we're gonna put a salt line all around the board to make sure no spirits come out or anything like that. You had a bad experience last time. Yeah. And then we're also gonna be turning off that light over there. And we're going to be playing with eight candles here. I don't know if you can see the two here. Um, and anywhere needs to be a little thicker. Oh, that looks good. All right, so let's just read a couple rules we need to know. I think you guys all need to know this if you're planning to play the Ouija board. Which we don't recommend. <laughs> no, we don't. For any extra precautions or anything like that. Oh, don't forget to talk about this. I don't know if that's in the rules. I think so, yeah. All right, so first rule. Never utilize the Ouija board alone. I know some people do just for like the heck of it, but I, I really don't recommend it. It is technically a gateway that you need to be careful with, right? So, alright, um, if you get a demon, bless the house. Don't we, bless it, it might make it worse. That's what the rule says. I don't really trust that rule. It and says it can make it worse. But uh, I have white sage here, and we also have incense and candles, so anything does go haywire, you never know. The salt, obviously. Yeah, exactly. Supernatural does get some things right. Um, let's see. Okay, never let the spirit count down through the numbers or go through the alphabet as they can get out of the board that way. But I think that is a very important rule. The paper's up beside you, by the way. Oh. Do you have a pen? Yeah. Here, you keep them. Alright, um, if the planchet goes to the four corners, the Ouija board implies that you have reached a wickedness, soul, or Project. evil spirit presence in your life. Alright, um, okay, there's a rule here that says if you're an atheist, don't use the Ouija board. First of all, if you're an atheist, why the heck are you buying a Ouija board? <laughs> like, seriously. Um, let's see, if the planchet tumbles from a Ouija board, a soul will get detached. I don't know if that's true or not, but we'll see. Um, I'm just going to get some. In the event that the planchette over and over makes a figure eight, it implies that a wickedness soul is in control of the board. Okay, uh, if ever you do get a wicked soul, all you need to do is take your planchette here, it's like this, and just flip it over, and that should get rid of the evil spirit that you have reached. Um... When you're done using a Ouija board, always say goodbye. Never keep your Ouija board open to spirits to manipulate it while you're not around. Also, don't leave it. Yeah. Until you say goodbye. Uh, let's see. Um, yeah, we just kind of wrote them some rules down here, so... <gasps> All of these rules will be in the description. We're only reading the super, super important, the must-know rules. If you want to know all 25 rules, 
go down to the description. Mm. All right, three things you should never ask to Ouija board. Never ask about God, never ask when you're gonna die, and never ask where the gold is buried. So no money, don't ask for lotto numbers, or literal where's the buried treasure buried. But yeah. Um, if you really want to know what the rest is, just go look it down in our description, Nothing like she else said. super important? No, I don't think so, no. We went through these, so we know what we're doing. This should never be left like this. If you're not at the board, upside down, and or upside down in a way. I mean, that's That's not in the rules, but... I don't think it is. I think I should just skip it over. <laughs> no, I think that's something you told me. Alright, so I'm going to close the light. Also, you should have an opening and closing ritual before you even think about beginning. We will be reading ours. Ooh, look at the creepy atmosphere already. Uh, what's our... I don't have the reach for copy here. Guess we'll read it. Did we put this on first or read this first? We'll read this first. Oh, no, no, we can put this on the board. Okay. Here. And your plot set should always be on the letter G when you begin. Right here. So okay. let's hope we don't set this on fire. Here, I can hold the paper. Remember, we have to do circles with it. I was okay. Do we do circles and then read? You can just put one hand on it. Okay. Normally, you do play with two hands unless there's a bunch of players. We'll be adding our hand as soon as we're done reading. I can't get this thing to light. There we go. Alrighty. One, two, two three. three. We ask the Holy Spirit to protect us as we reach out to the surrounding spirits for guidance and to keep the evil spirits away. So that's our opening thing. We're going to be writing down every letter we get because last time we were getting a bunch of random letters and yeah. Alright, also when it comes to the spirit, spirit board, video board, whatever you like to call it, um, make sure that when you're doing, when you're first focusing, always concentrate your energy onto the planchette. It helps the spirits for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> Alrighty, ready? Okay. Is anybody here that would like to speak to us? Are there any spirits here who wish to speak to us? Well, this atmosphere is just giving me chills. I don't like the dark. <laughs> Do you want us to turn the light on? No, 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 it's fine. It's just oh, creepy. We're getting all satanic here. <laughs> Anyways, let's concentrate. Alrighty, let's try this again. 
Oh, cool. should we have said our goodbye chat and then set it again? Have our closing chat and then okay, see us. Okay, let's just go like this. I can see this. Okay. okay. One, two, three. We thank the Holy Spirits for protecting us during this game and ask for their continuous protection. So, in this one answer we depart. <laughs> No, I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> so you should, like we said, have an opening and closing like ritual or prayer. You can yeah. even do that, like, I think it's like a Catholic one, like, God, guard thou in heaven, hallowed yeah. be thy name. You can do that as your opening prayer, but we like that we had our specific one that's like to ask him for protection not just like a prayer you're more than welcome to use the ones that we have we'll put that in the description below yeah because even though we do feel like we might have contacted something not so nice last time nothing happened yeah. to us we also had salt on our, our assault line to our room so who knows all right let's try this again that was a very uneventful Ouija party contacting. I want to write nail on the paper, that's so important. Alrighty. Alrighty. So, three, two, one. We ask the Holy Spirit to protect us as we reach out to the surrounding spirits for guidance and to keep the evil spirits away. We're not on you, we're not on you. <laughs> <laughs> too close to playing for comfort. <laughs> Paper is flammable. <laughs> it's recording, right? Spirits don't like her. She's supposed to be the medium in this, and I was the one asking all the questions last time. Maybe they don't like me because of a medium. It depends what type of spirit it is. No. Okay. Are there any spirits here who wish to contact us? Who would talk to us? Not contact us. Fine. <laughs> Are there any spirits here who wish to talk to us? <laughs> yeah. I don't remember what you said. Talk. Is anyone there? I'm thinking it's gonna go to no again. <laughs> Is there anyone here? Okay. Are you worried if I'm looking around? <laughs> Pedal, but not like, duh, 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 like, duh. Why? Duh. I don't know. The suspense is killing you. I think it's the eeriness of the light. We had much more lighting last time we did this. Yeah. And I'm worried about this candle. I think it might burn out soon. I like the atmosphere though. It's nice. We look like professionals. Professional crazy people. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> We're the professional crazies. Is anyone here? Because we are. <laughs> are there any spirits here? I guess not. I feel the urge to pull to yes, but I yeah, not no. Like I feel the urge to like to like move the plum shut to yes, like my hands are telling me to. But we're not supposed to do it. Yeah, we're not supposed to move it ourselves. I like literally feel the earth like, whoosh. Yeah. Because <laughs> like I feel it in my hands. Mm-hmm. But like, we're not the ones who's supposed to move it. <laughs> Your laptop. <laughs> my laptop's closed. I don't know. So is mine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mine's been doing sounds like that lately. 
whether it's on or off. <laughs> we have problems with technology. I don't know why I keep looking at the camera, the camera can't seem to look at it. <laughs> we have problems with technology. stuff like what should we do like ask questions for like will I do well on my math test too bad neither of us are in school <laughs> um oh we could ask will we ever move to oh wait no where am I will we ever move to Calgary sure <laughs> that was not the actual question <laughs> that was a rhetorical question <laughs> I guess we ain't moving <laughs> Well, maybe it's telling us no, we shouldn't ask that. Maybe. Maybe it's reading our minds. Okay. Well, I get... Or, well, I do well enough to go back to working in December. I'll take that as a no. I want to go back to work. My <laughs> employment sucks. <laughs> Employment sucks too, though. I mean, the money's nice, but the working not so nice. What? I just want to make sure you're not breaking it, okay? Oh, you're no. very close to the salt line. Yeah, no, my hands are up here. Well, my arms, I'm lifting them up. Um, what's the next name? What's the next name? What's the next question we should ask? Hmm. I shouldn't have questions in mind when I play this. Maybe. Should we ask for their name? I thought we weren't supposed to really ask for names. Yet. Oh, true. Last time we got some haywire answers. Um. Last we time we met a spirit we think is Gwen, and then I think we brought. I think we think she brought an evil friend. Yeah. Do you want to ask if they're a nice spirit? No, maybe not. Oh, ask if they know or ask. Do you know how you died? I thought we were supposed to ask that. No, we're not supposed to ask how they died. I'm just saying that they know how they died. Oh. Because if they know that's evil, they don't, it's not. Unless they're lying. No, some ghosts do know if they died or not, how they died. Only vengeful ones do. I read it online somewhere. I trust where I read it from, too. I think I read it from my Oh, okay. Do you know how you died? Is a no since it only moved a couple inches. I think I wanted us to know it saying no. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. You have your hands on it. As I'm long getting... as at least one player has their hands on the. I'm getting salt on me, so I'm just gonna use one hand. Well, you have stronger energy than this. So they don't know how they die, so they're either lying or they're a good spirit. We can ask a dark girl or a Patience to go through what? There's like what? Supposed to be 52 new genders? Yeah, I don't know. Hey, whatever you want to be. None of our business. Will I ever get a new? 
new phone. What's wrong with my old phone? I don't know. <laughs> Fine, so apparently the phone I gave her for free is or not maybe, good enough Or for maybe her. that is my new phone. Because I'm technically still using my old phone because it still has my service SIM card, right? True. But I think when you say new, you probably need new, new. Okay, um... Yeah, we can still ask what the name is. I don't see really the problem in that. Okay. Go. What is your name? If you know it. Zero? 
Humans were talking to a spirit that never made it to his first birthday. But how are you able to spell? Yeah, that's weird. Matthew, please tell us how old you are. Maybe he doesn't know. Matthew, do you know how old you are? So he does know how old he is. Should we ask if he's 10? Should we move it to G and ask if he's 10? Got to. That was us. <laughs> <laughs> Why do we always look over at the cow when we're talking? They it's can't habit. see it. It's habit. Alright. Go ahead. Matthew, are you 10 years old? your age? <coughs> Is there numbers after this? Protecting us during this game and ask for their continuous protection. I thought it was weird that he was staying on zero for so long. Yeah, I thought that was weird too. Jump in the light. Okay, so that wasn't quite as exciting. I want to say exciting. <laughs> I don't know if that's quite the right word. As our first attempt, our first attempt was trying to trick us before trying to release themselves. They were literally spelling like the most BS things ever. And they asked for like their name. And they got Gwen. And then I think somewhere after like she went to like MC, something took over because it went like MCW. There was a pause. DJ. Pause. H U. We asked three questions which were ignored. S C S. Or we asked another question. And then say goodbye. Yeah, so it was kind of creepy last time. I think more this time is more the fact that we were like a little bit smarter this time. Because like, okay, playing with the Ouija board is all fun in games until you actually get like a really bad spirit in your house or haunting you. Like you really need to be careful with this stuff. Hence the precautions we were making this time. Yeah, we uh, actually ended up turning our board upside down and putting salt on it because, um, I, mean, I didn't tell you this, but I kind of felt something around us. The plain set is also off the board, upside down, and salted as well. Yeah. But, uh, what did you guys think? Um, I mean, we got some pretty cool responses. I think putting salt around your board is a very smart idea if ever you're playing Ouija board, because I felt like the plush I wanted to go off of the board, and that can cause some serious problems in your house, so. It was at that time when it was on the zero for like a whole minute. 
like it didn't make sense like you're, you're zero what <laughs> and as soon as it reached two we realized it was probably going to try and count down all the way that's why we said goodbye and that can release the spirit we're like we're not doing any of that we like our house not haunted I mean there's probably ghosts here because you know we've heard like scratching noises and stuff like that but I'm like creepy presence but yeah Inside is a good thing to have too. Sage just in case. If you're really paranoid at the end of your session, you can always go around and sage in your house and We did last time. <laughs> yeah, because we didn't feel well. Oh, if you do decide to sage your house, we don't know if you're burning it incorrectly or something, carry a lighter with you to make sure it's actually burning. You need to do every doorway whether it actually goes in or out of your house, every window every corner, every room, and you say air, fire, water, earth, um, dismiss, dispel, no, dispel's the last thing. Oh, dismiss, cleanse, dismiss, dispel. Oh, cleanse, dismiss, dispel, yes. Okay. So yeah, the four elements, cleanse, dismiss, dismel. Air, fire, dispel. water, earth, clear, cleanse. cleanse, dismiss, dispel. And you do that everywhere. Yeah. Every time you're waving the sage around, you say it. And you don't move on to the next section until you've said everything. Alright, so, um, I guess we'll do another session eventually. I know the first time we did it, we were like, is someone here? Nope! We don't want to talk to you. <laughs> so we were probably talking to someone different at that time. But, but yeah, as you know, we were struggling for questions this time, so if you have questions you want us to ask the next time you play, comment down below, but no religion. No money and no. Just like tea, tea. What's the sort of thing you don't ask? Death. Yes, and no death. Do not make us break the rules. We will not do that. Okay, so tune in next week. It won't be the most exciting because it will just be audio, but it was a lot more. A lot more activity. Yeah. yeah. Alright, so. Like, subscribe, comment. You've heard this all before. <laughs> exactly, by most people. Um, have um, ideas for challenges you want us to do. We do want to try and stay away from the 3 a.m. ones for a while. If we do do 3 a.m., it'll be like we do like 5 that uh, one <laughs> night because we are trying to get a somewhat normal sleep schedule down. And um, waking up at 3 a.m. or staying up till 3 a.m. does not help that. Alright, well, thanks for watching. Okay, bye.